Okay, thanks for that, Cody. I always appreciate seeing, you know, companies like Bentech who kind of start out, you know, maybe in some other area um, outside of, you know, the industry we're in, um, kind of doing other specialized things, and then they find a, a calling doing things that we need, right, in the in the steel industry and getting into handrails and stuff like that. So I'm always fascinated to kind of see the background of, of companies' history and where they come from. So now let's take a look on the SDS2 side of things, um, you know, for all you detailers out there, um, what this is going to look like for you guys. So um, here I have our main screen open. Some of you might recognize this. Some of you might not. If you're not in the newer version of SDS2, it might look a little different. So this is the updated look. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and open up one of our models. Um, so just for today's example, I've got this one going. I'm already set up. Let me open this real quick. And here's a model I have set up for today's demo, just kind of a basic structure just to make things easy on us. Um, so here I am. I'm just going to go ahead and just get started by snapping to this uh, Beams web. And I've already got some construction lines laid out. We're just going to put in a real basic two line rail for today. Um, I'm going to come up, go to my members. I'm going to go ahead and add the add flat hand rail run. And like I said, I already got these points selected. I'm just going to go ahead and start clicking these two points. You can see the handrail is already getting started there. Right click out of this command. And we got our basic setup here. Um, I think I got enough going here for me to kind of get things started, got things welded just to make things a lot easier on us. I hit OK. And I think for today's presentation, we're just going to go ahead and use miter cuts instead of elbows. So all I got to do is just come in here. I'm going to make a quick change. I'm going to go to my ends. Let's change these to miter. And then also, I'm going to go down to my gal vents. For those that don't know, SDS2 automatically does handle uh, venting for galvanizing. Super, super great tool here. And then we're going to change the auto interior hole diameter to manual. We're just going to make it one inch now. And that's just to make things come across a little bit cleaner on the Bentec side of things. Um, and, and you can leave it as is. Uh, I just know from you know experience that uh, it wants a smaller interior vent hole. So that's the only change I'm going to make there. I'm going to leave everything else as normal. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see the rail just automatically update just like that. So now we're ready to export it. And it's as simple as coming up to the design transfer tab here. And um, for those that don't have it yet, um, if you just go ahead and open up SDS2.com, which I'll do right now. And this is our main page. And you come to our support drop down and you'll select SDS2 Toolbox. And for those that don't already know, this is a really awesome page that I really want you to check out. Um, it has all our awesome, you know, advanced tools and partner integrations. So any of these that you're not familiar with, uh, I mean, you know, I encourage you to learn everything that they do. Um, they might save you a lot of time and, and headache. There's a lot of really great tools in here, but right at the top, obviously, we have our Bentec. You can click read more and then you'll just want to come down to this documentation and, and download, obviously, and we have all the information there for you. So so once you have it downloaded, you're going to jump right back into SDS2 and go to your design transfer tab. And then we're just going to go ahead and run this. And then you can see down at the bottom left corner, select parts to export. I'm just going to go ahead and select this one. You can do one or multiple at a time. For this example, we're just going to do one. I'm going to hit right click OK. It's going to pull up the menu and it's going to go ahead and start reading this. And as you can see, everything's come across really nice and clean, so that's good. If you had any errors, um, you can either choose to go back and make modifications as needed, or you can also bring those into Bentec and then you can make modifications on that end as well. So in this case, we're just going to go ahead and hit save and then save that in the file that you need to as necessary, and then we'll send that over to Cody. So Cody, let's go ahead and see what that looks like on your side of things.